been trying to wait for some better weather uh, to do the, my review of z uh duplex tent, but uh, I'm just going to finally get down to it. Uh, so I went with the spruce green, so I added a little bit of weight. Um, most of you guys know I like the color green. So um, my tent with stakes, uh, I have nine just in case, um, one extra MSR groundhogs, the full length ones, and total weight is 28 ounces, um, and that's with the little Cuban fiber um, tent stake bag I made, um, which I'll do a layout and a setup here in a minute also so you can see. Uh, so far, I have loved this tent. I've been through some horrible rainstorms with this. Uh, I've been in the snow. Um, it sets up quick. Um, my first time pitching it, I didn't even have stakes with me. I was able to just use some rocks and some twigs to make the uh, tent pitch during a really bad rainstorm and it worked great. So um, this tent is actually really awesome. Um, honestly, my favorite tent I've used to date. So that's just a quick kind of specs, my overview of it. Um, I'm gonna set it up here real quick and then I'll show you me inside of it and have that done. Took me a little bit longer than normal, uh, but doing it in loose snow uh, and kind of a rough ground to put it into. So, we can see, I mean, even in the snow, the pitch is actually pretty good. Uh, I'll go he in here in a minute, but you can see, got eight tie out points, one each corner, one for each door, then one down the middle back. Um, and the front and the back are identical, so you do have dual entry. So if you are two person, it will fit two, and you both have your own door to go out. So not bad. You also can have, that way you can have a tricking area if it's pouring down rain, which I have done. So good size tent. So, and kind of cool thing also is the doors do come up on both sides. They will roll up, so as you can see, this is just looking in, uh, you have a rainbow shaped door, so it does open up fairly wide, so, and I'm going to shut this off and crawl inside real quick, be right back. So outside, all the way opened up, so what I was going to show real quick is you have the one door that's rolled up. Then you can actually take this second door, bring it all the way down. And I'll see if I can do this with one hand. Actually, Gabe, come here. Hold this back where you can see me at this angle over here. So, what it is, as soon as I get this untangled, there we go. You can hook it to this door, so you can actually have a little bit of a... Oh, I got tangled. Dang it. There we go. Wind block, so if you have one coming from one direction, you do have one door open. You can have this one rolled up so you let sun in. Alright, let's see. Yes. <coughs> Alright guys, so this is from inside the tent. So you can see my feet. Here, I'll lay all the way down. My feet. Then I'm gonna flip this around. You guys can see. My head, got plenty of room back here. Uh, you got pocket there. You also have a pocket here. And they do send some seam tape, uh, Cuban fiber seam tape, which I'm just gonna keep in here the whole time. Um, as you can see, uh, hopefully here, 
I got plenty of headroom here. Um, so so it's great to tent, uh, plenty of room. Like I said I'm a bigger guy. I can fit myself and all my gear in here or someone else in here with gears under the double doors, which you do have access both sides like I was saying earlier. Great tent, uh, especially for the price. Um, single wall, um, it, it is my go-to tent for pretty much anything nowadays. Um, it's so light, it can't help but be that tent. All right, guys. So, like I was saying, it's my review of the Z-Pax Duplex uh, Cuban Fiber, and it is a bomb tent. Um, it is my PCT tent. It will probably be my CDT, my AT, and my everyday trail tent. So, I will talk to you later.